Today, we are going to take a look at a really interesting hashing technique, cuckoo hashing. We'll first explore how it works and then we'll talk about why Memcached chose cuckoo hashing while Redis took a different approach. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. When you're working with large amounts of data, hash tables are your best friend. Hash tables are critical data structures used to store key value pairs efficiently. However, one of the biggest challenges in traditional hashing methods is dealing with collisions, situations where two keys are mapped to the same hash value. This is where cuckoo hashing comes into play, providing a solution that promises constant time complexity for both lookup and insertion, even in worst case. Traditional hashing methods struggle with collisions, which degrade performance when things get crowded. Chaining and open addressing are two different techniques used to resolve collisions in hash tables. In chaining, if multiple elements are mapped to the same bucket, they are stored in a linked list. In the worst case, all elements could hash to the same bucket, creating a long chain that must be traversed linearly, resulting in big O of N lookup time. In open addressing, when a collision occurs, the algorithm probes the table for an available slot. If the table is nearly full, the probe sequence can become long, leading to big O of N lookup and insertion times in the worst case. Cuckoo hashing is a clever way to handle collisions. Let's understand how it addresses the challenges of traditional hashing methods. Cuckoo hashing is a collision resolution strategy for hash tables that offers big O of 1 worst case time complexity for lookups. This approach uses two hash functions and two tables to store elements, ensuring that each key is placed in one of two possible locations. If a key is already occupying one of these locations, it gets kicked out. Just like a cuckoo bird laying its eggs in another bird's nest. Hence the name cuckoo hashing. The idea behind cuckoo hashing is simple. When inserting a new element, if a collision occurs, the existing element gets relocated to one of its alternative positions, triggering a chain of reinsertions until every key has its own spot. Let's see how insertion and lookup works in practice with cuckoo hashing. To insert a key in cuckoo hashing, the key is first placed in table 1 using the first hash function. If the position in table 1 is occupied, that is a collision, the key is placed in its corresponding position in table 2 using a second hash function. If the position in table 2 is also occupied, the key already there is displaced and it is recursively reinserted into table 1 at its new position. This process continues until all keys are successfully inserted, ensuring that collisions are handled efficiently across both tables. Is lookup as efficient as insert with cuckoo hashing? Let's understand. The lookup process in cuckoo hashing checks whether the key is present in the positions are determined by the respective hash functions in both table 1 and table 2. If the key is found in either of these hashed positions, the process returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. This ensures a fast lookup time as only two positions are checked, regardless of the size of the tables. In contrast to traditional hashing methods like chaining or open addressing, cuckoo hashing has some distinct advantages. Unlike a traditional hashing, where the worst case time complexity for lookups and insertions can degrade to big O of n due to collisions, cuckoo hashing guarantees big O of 1 worst case time for both operations. In traditional hashing with chaining, collisions can result in long chains of keys requiring linear time lookups in the worst case. Similarly, in open addressing methods like linear probing, clustering can occur, where 
contiguous blocks of occupied slots degrade performance. Cuckoo hashing avoids these pitfalls by ensuring that every key has a constant number of candidate positions. Since cuckoo hashing guarantees worst case big of one operations, it provides more predictable performance, which is particularly beneficial in real-time systems. Cuckoo hashing ensures constant time operations for lookups and insertions, making it a highly effective choice for systems where predictable worst case performance is crucial. Cuckoo hashing is highly efficient and is used in various systems where high performance lookups are essential, such as systems that require fast lookups like in memory caches benefit from Cuckoo hashing's big of one lookup time. Certain databases like Cassandra, RocksDB, and LevelDB use Cuckoo hashing to minimize the rehashing operations and ensure efficient data retrieval. Cuckoo hashing is also useful in environments like routing tables where quick and reliable lookups are necessary. Even though Cuckoo hashing is highly efficient, Redis chose not to use it, while Memcached did. Let's understand the reasoning behind each decision. Memcached a popular distributed caching system uses a cuckoo hashing to resolve collisions. Its need for fast and consistent lookups makes a cuckoo hashing an ideal choice. Memcached's use case involves handling large amounts of data in real time, making predictable big of one lookups vital to maintain low latency performance. Redis, on the other hand, does not use cuckoo hashing. Redis uses a combination of hash tables with chaining and rehashing to manage collisions. This works well in Redis because its a typical use case involves managing a wide variety of data structures beyond simple key value pairs. Redis can afford the occasional performance degradation of big of n time in lookups, especially since it focuses more on versatility and supports rich data types such as lists, sets, and sorted sets. You can find the link to simple Java implementation of Cuckoo Hashing in the description. Cuckoo Hashing is an efficient method that ensures constant time lookups and insertions even in the worst case, avoiding the unpredictability of traditional hash tables. With its big of one worst case time complexity, Cuckoo hashing is a great choice for high performance applications. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, coding, system design, big data and career growth. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.